Hey, this is Wayne Rickard with my 1936 Ford pickup truck. Um, it's a really cool driver, really nice um, overall vehicle. Uh, it has fiberglass fenders and running boards on it, otherwise it's all steel. Uh, nice thing about that, of course, is it'll never rust. Um, as you can see from the front there, uh, you might be able to catch the glimpse of the uh, electronic fan in the front. It also has the uh, the transmission uh, cooler down the bottom. It just everything about the car is really cool. It's um, if you can see with the sun uh, glare right here that we have um, tinted windows all the way around. They are power side windows. Um, the front windshield rolls out, but which I, I will uh, show you a little bit later. Um, it has brand new tires on it that are um, that are the uh, Summit high performance radials. Um, it is platinum, uh, silver, gold color. Um, most of most of the chrome is new. The bumperettes are new. The rear bumper, the, the um, handles, and the um, the side mirrors. Um, this really rare emblem right here. This is not new. I I don't even think you can get one. Um, you could probably have it rechrome, but it's in it's in okay condition. Again, this is a real nice driver. I'm not. It, you could take it to the next level and make it a show truck, but this is where it is right now. We're going to walk around it in a second. Okay, and again, it's got this stand-up headlights, and check out this hood, how beautiful the 36 Ford hood is. Um, with the, it's got, you know, new Ford V8 emblem on it. Um, check out, again, the tinted side glass. It's, um, you know, the body's overall really straight. It, you know, if you really wanted to make this a a real super high level vehicle you probably want to change the doors if you're going to use it as a driver the way it would be used um, then the doors are just fine you know they work great you know power windows in it you can kind of see the American racing wheels a little bit come on back up to the to the bed it's got stainless steel um, scuff rails in there with uh, brand new oak in it nice uh, little hatch in here that uh, can access the fuel cell Again, a, a 15 gallon fuel cell and uh, with a little access door. You can just flip that back when you're filling gas. And um, it's, it's just overall nice. It's got brand new bumper on the back, new tail lights, um, really cool original um, tailgate. Uh, again, these defenders on this thing, they just flow. It's, it's, it's like a, a beautiful design piece of art. It just beautifully flows back. Um, I'm going to reach in and um, show you a little bit about the, the power windows. And we'll do an interior shot, but I'll just show you these things. Uh, these are the, just nice, nicely um, designed and built. It still has the flat door panels and um, custom door panels, 55 Chevy uh, door handles, uh, custom interior work there, brand new custom carpet, uh, has probably, we don't know exactly where the seats came from, they're like, like 90s type seats, um, custom steering wheel, and it's just overall, um, very comfortable you know most of these things are so squished that you can't even breathe in here but it's got plenty of headroom and it's just um, it's just a nice driver all the gauges work if you can get down and see the bottom gauges down there all those gauges work the only gauge that doesn't work right now is the fuel uh, sending unit um, it all this fuel cell is set up for it but I'm going to put a separate little gauge so I just wanted you to know that uh, that'll be there you'll have a fuel gauge as well um, everything um, I pretty much I think everything works in here I'll show you actually has the power window from the from the um, driver side as well and the passenger side and uh, the window rolls out this is a really nice feature I'll tell you when that window just rolls out and you're cruising down the road uh, I'm gonna leave it open as we walk around um, again it's uh, it's a really nice driver it's got a brand new uh, 400 mile 350 in it 
and uh, has a rebuilt turbo uh, 350 trans in it as well. By the way, I just figured I'd mention that the Mustang and the Bricklin sitting behind this are also going to be for sale, and uh, you can check out our YouTube videos on those as well. And, uh, Ford V8 emblem pans right into the 350. Um, it's 400 miles or so on the motor. It's a brand new crate motor, and. Um, it's just a, a nice package with the vintage looking valve covers and the vintage looking air cleaner. Just put a, it's a nice clean, um, well, you know, done package here with the, the um, suspension, the Mustang II suspension just opens up this whole um, in, engine compartment and it looks really nice. Sits in there nice, height, ride, everything about it is really nice. It, just the clearances are all right, so um, just wanted you to kind of see that overall package in there. It's a little cold right now, but as you can see, that it's a uh, motor sounds smooth and nice, and uh, it's uh, a great driving car. 1936 Ford pickup truck from the bottom. It looks great. This is, has a 15 gallon fuel cell. Pretty much everything is new, all the brake lines are new. Um, the brakes are like 100%, 99%, 100%. Um, the exhaust is um, recent. Everything's new, basically. The transmission's been rebuilt, the Turbo 350. It has a custom frame to it. If you can just kind of zoom in on the frame a little bit right here. Um, it's, it's a custom frame, which is, you know, really expensive. The battery's under the, under the, um, the bed. And as you'll see later, the, the access to the fuel cell is above um, in the bed, and it's really cool the way it's set up. Check out this uh, emergency brake from underneath. It's really cool the way they did the double cables and from the old vintage uh, handle up above. It has, a, a, again, a, um, a 350 uh, uh, crate motor, and um, it's brand new. I just changed the oil, um, probably for the first oil change after... Uh, break in. Um, it has a, a Mustang 2 front, Mustang 2 disc brakes, and it has up front it has a, um, a trans cooler. And as you can see everything is pretty much new from underneath, no rust. It's just a beautiful undercarriage of this thing. Um, not perfect but I just say like a driver everything. Check, check out the you know just the brake lines and all that I just wanted you to see again. So um, before we get started for the top or go back to the top, um, just wanted you to see the underside of this, how nice it is. Uh, it has new rear shocks. It will have new front shocks. Uh, it's one, one little detail that I wanted to replace. Other than that, everything else is uh, recent, rebuilt, or new. As you can see, we have American Racing wheels here and uh, brand new at all four corners. Um, Summit. HP radial track twos on all four corners and um, they should be really nice driving tires because they you know they got the the, um, the white surface on there and um, they're also a nice road tire so they're nice handle on tire as well so all in all it's um, a nice little package here that um, you'll be really happy with. Let's take it for a ride. Got the windshield open, lots of wind. A beautiful day. Nice all-round driver.